In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the love and mercy of God be with you. Let us pray. Loving Jesus, we thank you for having come into the world to reconcile us with the Father. Thank you for having died for us. And thank you for your powerful word that continues to enlighten our steps so that indeed we may follow you, honor you, are the way, the truth, and the life. Through you, Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 5, verses 20 to 26. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said, The man of old, you shall not kill, and whoever kills shall be liable to judgment. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother shall be liable to judgment. Whoever insults his brother shall be liable to the council, and whoever says you fool shall be liable to the hell of fire. So if you are offering your gift at the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go. First be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Make friends quickly with your accuser while you are going with him to the court, lest your accuser hand you over to the judge and the judge to the God, and you be put in prison. Truly, I say to you, you will never get out till you have paid the last penny, the gospel of the Lord. My dear good listener, a good Thursday to you. From the gospel we have heard, I have chosen the theme. Be reconciled to your neighbor and your prayer will be effective. My dear good listener, many a time in my ministry, but also given my own personal experience, we ask, but why do I pray and my prayers are never effective? They are never heard. What is the real problem? In today's gospel, Jesus gives us one of the answers why our prayers at times are not effective. One is that we are not reconciled to our brothers and sisters. We are angry. We abuse each other. We refuse to forgive each other. And so there is a division among us. You will remember that in Matthew chapter 22, Jesus says that the greatest commandment is first and foremost, to love God with all our mind, with all our strength, and with all that we have. And the second is to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. So meaning, if you and I do not love each other, there is already a problem in the spiritual life. That's why John tells us, you can never say you love God whom you have never seen when you have failed to love your neighbor. Therefore, For you and I not to love our neighbor means that actually our prayers are blocked because God is love. 1 John chapter 4 verse 16. So if God is love and he wishes us to love each other, it means that any soul that is angry can never have God stay in it. A soul that attracts God is that soul that loves. That's why Jesus tells us in John chapter 14 that if you keep his commandments, you will listen to his word. And his word is love. His love is mercy. So if you cannot love, you will not have mercy. If you have no mercy, that means you have no love. And that means since God is love, you have no God. Therefore, my good listener, it's very important and incumbent upon us that we reconcile to our brothers and sisters. We are not going to reconcile in heaven. Reconciliation is now. Reconciliation is today. Do not keep that grudge against your brother. It is Paul who tells us in Ephesians chapter 4 not to harbor anger because anger gives room to the devil. So if you are angry and refuse to forgive your brother, your sister, 
then the devil can smartly come and work with you because the devil is hatred by nature. So if we begin hating each other, that means there's something we have in common with the devil. If we love, that means we have something in common with God because God is love. So today is your choice. Jesus is telling you, if you have something against your brother, leave your gift before the altar and go first be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. Meaning, God will only receive your gift. God will only receive your prayer when you have reconciled with your brother. My dear good listener, forgiveness and reconciliation should precede prayer. Finally, remember we are in the time of mercy and God wants us to be merciful. That's why he tells St. Faustina in her diary number 699, my daughter, tell the whole world about my inconceivable mercy. I desire that the feast of mercy be a refuge and shelter for all souls, and especially for poor sinners. On that day, the very depth of my eternal mercy are open. I pour out a whole ocean of graces upon those souls who approach the fount of mercy. The soul that will go for confession and receive Holy Communion shall obtain complete forgiveness of sins and punishment. On that day, all the divine flood gates through which graces flow are opened. Let no soul fear to draw near to me, even though it seems be like scarlet. My mass is so great that no mind, be it of man or angel, will be able to fathom it throughout all eternity. Everything that exists has come forth from the very depth of my most and mercy. Every soul in its relation to me will contemplate my love and mercy throughout eternity. The feast of mercy emerged from the very depth of tenderness. It is my desire that it be solemnly celebrated on the first Sunday after Easter. Mankind will not have peace until it turns the fount of my mercy. Therefore, my dear good listener, let us turn to God's mercy. If you don't know the chaplet of divine mercy, please learn it and pray that chaplet of divine mercy. For Jesus says, whoever says it will be accompanied by mercy. Let us stay in God's mercy and let us be merciful. Let us show mercy to our brothers and sisters, remembering that we ourselves are the products of mercy. The Lord be with you. May the God of love and mercy bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. I wish you the best of the day and kindly share this good news with your friends. Remember also to subscribe to our YouTube channel.